Welcome to using Cisco Unified Intelligence Center CUIC version 11.5. This video on dashboards is one in a multi-part series introducing the CUIC 11.5 product. In this video, we will cover the creation and administration of CUIC dashboards. Make sure you check out the other videos included in this series, which will cover things like getting started, customizing report views, user groups and permissions, permalinks, and value lists and collections. Dashboards are a unique feature of Cisco Unified Intelligence Center, which lets you display multiple objects like a web page, widgets, and some reports in a nice consolidated view. Through the proper allocation of permissions, you can make your dashboard available to other users. You can also associate your dashboard with a permalink for additional access to non-CUIC users. Let's then move into CUIC 11.5 and explore the world of dashboards. To create and manage our dashboards, we can open up the dashboards tools via this dashboard icon on the left hand side. Let's click on that. And we bring up the legacy COIC page, which includes a number of tools via these drawers, one of which is dashboards. Let's open up our dashboards drawer. You'll notice that there are no default dashboards created with the product, unlike reports where we get a whole bunch of stock reports. We do, however, get a default folder called dashboards which if we right click, you'll notice we could create dashboards under this folder. We could rename this folder or we could create a subcategory under the dashboards folder. Let's leave the dashboards folder as the root folder for our dashboards and create a subcategory. I'm going to call our subcategory Acme dashboards and I'm going to assign full permissions to this folder. So we now have a folder called Acme dashboards under which we are going to add all of the dashboards for the Acme Corporation. Let's right click on Acme dashboards and this time we'll create a dashboard. Notice that we could also create subcategories and we could go down as far as made sense organizationally. But for this demonstration, I'm just going to create a dashboard right under the Acme Dashboards folder. And I'm going to call this dashboard Performance Data. Again, I'm going to assign full rights to all users and the administrators. Click OK and we now have a dashboard called Performance Data. If I click on this dashboard, you will notice that there are no entries. To fix that, let's click Add. And then I'm going to call my first entry on this dashboard service level. It's going to be a report and I'm going to find this report under the reports menu under the ACME reports which by the way we created in an earlier video on examining customizing report views. I'm going to check the service level report we created in that video. And if I scroll down here, I'm able to, or must in fact, select a particular view. And the view I'm going to select is the service level view. And click OK. And we find that that report is rendered on the dashboard. We can resize that report to any sort of convenient size we like. So let's add a second report to our, uh, to our ACME dashboard. Again, click Add.
I'm going to call this call volume. It's also a report. I'm also going to find this in the service level report. But this time, the view that I'm going to be defining is the call volume view. These are views, as I say, that we created in the video on customizing report views. Check out that video if you're unclear in how to create and manage these views. You click OK. And you'll notice that the call volume report is also rendered. Again, we can resize that to a convenient size. Notice in both these instances that the thresholds that we created when we created this view and also the filters which we created when we created this service level view are retained when we drag these reports into the dashboard. Let's just add one more object to our dashboard. Let's click Add. This is just going to be a sticky note. And I'll assign this entry as a sticky note from the drop down box, which you'll notice include other things like schedules, URLs, widgets, as well as the reports that we've just done and the sticky note that we're about to do. So you can see from here that the dashboard is quite, um, quite complete in the types of entries that you can add to your dashboard. The process for each of these is the same. Let's just add a sticky note. And the content is a message that we might want other users to this dashboard to be able to see. Lunch is cancelled today. And so there we have our dashboard available to whatever users you want to assign uh, to this dashboard via those permissions. So think the sales department, think the support department, etc., etc. Now, in addition to that, we also have the capability of assigning permalinks to these dashboards. This expands the number of available users that can access this dashboard. Let's just see how we might go about doing that. To assign these permalinks or to advertise the permalinks for these dashboards. Let's go back to the dashboards folder. Right click on our recently created dashboard. And add HTML link. You'll notice here that our URL link is automatically generated. If I enable unauthenticated access and I simply copy this URL with the control C, open up a new tab, which could be on anybody's browser on the network and click enter. And we see that those reports are rendered or presented to a totally separate URL with no CIC login requirements at all. So hopefully, hopefully this uh, short video has shown you what you can do with dashboards, the use of dashboards, how we can create uh, a structure of folders for our dashboards, depending on our business requirements, how we can associate those dashboards with CUIC users via permissions and how via the use of a permalink we can allow access to selected users who are not COIC uh, login users. Thanks for watching and be sure to check out all of the other videos in this series.